Hello everyone, back tuning into today's first video. We're going to have a look at the uh, ECMWF 30 day ensemble forecast for today's first video. Looking at the weather for the next four weeks in the UK and in the rest of Europe as well. So, uh, today's second video will be up, um, up on the homepage later on this afternoon. And that will have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days. So, we'll have all of the latest in terms of uh, the GFS, the ECMWF, and also the GM shorter range models coming up for you uh, this afternoon. But starting us off today is the ECMWF 30 day uh, look ahead. So, um, looking at the temperature and precipitation anomalies from the Hungarian uh, Met Office, we can't see uh, mean sea level pressure or 500 bit of our height anomalies with these charts, but you can get a broad idea from the temperature and precipitation anomalies of what the pack would be that is bringing about uh, these temperature and precipitation uh, changes. So that's what we're going to do first of all, and we're going to start off with the temperature anomaly for uh, the UK and for Europe for the uh, next week. So this is week three for 2019, but it's week one for our forecast period it's taking us from the 14th through to the 20th of january and you see a bunch of scandinavia these forecasts have quite a cold week uh, this week uh, temperature anomalies are below average uk and ireland also forecast to be a little bit colder than average as is much of france below countries belgium holland into the west of germany i mean down to spain and portugal those areas are being forecast to be colder than average in the week ahead. Uh, much of Germany actually not too far from average. I mean, Germany and Denmark eastwards, so from around here eastwards, we find that most areas are actually milder than average. So kind of like going through Poland and then going back up towards western parts of Russia, uh, we find that the temperature anomaly is uh, milder than average there. Down through the Mediterranean, we can see that it's quite cold in the western bowl of the Med. Um, and some southern parts of Italy also a little bit on the cold side. Northern Italy around the Alps, uh, I mean, going into uh, countries like Hungary, Austria, find it's a little bit uh, milder than average there. The Balkans, a bit cold and average over the Adriatic, down towards the uh, Balkans, a little bit cold and average there. And then through Greece and Turkey, we've got uh, a mixed bag, really. Some areas a bit milder than average, some areas a little bit cold and average. It looks relatively mild. Uh, around the Black Sea. Broadly, it does look as though the northwest of Europe is quite cold, and the east to the southeast of Europe is a little bit milder in the week ahead. Precipitation anomalies are looking like that, so very dry across the northwest of Europe, uh, UK, Ireland, Belgium, Holland, France, into Germany, all of those uh, areas much drier than average in the week ahead from the 14th uh, to the 20th of January. Up to Scandinavia, it's a bit of a mixed bag, so some areas are uh, drier than average, some areas are a little bit wetter, particularly around western parts of Norway. Of course, all of that's going to be snow because it's so cold uh, up there. The east of Europe looks a little bit more uh, unsettled. It does look a little bit more unsettled in the east. Also down through the Med, some areas are a little bit more unsettled too. Uh, but it does vary from uh, country to country, to be honest. Broadly, it looks as though the northwest of uh, Europe is uh, quite dry. But then it's a mixed bag uh, elsewhere. Week two, temperature anomalies look like that. Turning colder, uh, if anything, as we go through into uh, week two. So look at this, the cold is uh, extending out, really, across most parts of Europe. Much colder than average, for example, across uh, Scandinavia. But really, all parts of Europe are being forecast to be cold and average here in week two, which is the 21st to the 27th of January. It's only down in the extreme southeastern corner of Europe, so kind of like around the Black Sea, and then going down towards Turkey and Greece. Those areas are a little bit milder than average. But those areas aside, it really is quite a cold week coming up uh, this week with widely temperature anomalies between around uh, uh, 1 and 3 degrees below average and some areas are going down to 3 to 6 degrees below average. So for example, Scandinavia, many parts of Scandinavia going down to uh, 3 to 6 degrees below average up towards the Baltic Sea. Again, um, 3 to 6 degrees below average. Uh, around sort of France uh, and into Belgium and Holland, 
into the low countries again we see uh three six degrees below average so cold or very cold um temperature anomalies from the 21st to 27th of january bitterly cold temperatures coming up for many parts of europe and British Isles is including that, of course. Precipitation anomalies for week two go from the 21st to the 27th of January. We see that much of the Med is quite unsettled. So it's turning wetter than average through much of Spain, Portugal, through the central basin of the Mediterranean, through the Holiday Islands, of the York and Minorca, Ibiza, Corsica, Sardinia, all of those areas, and Malta, all those areas look like they're turning wetter than average. Italy wetter than average, and then even down in towards Greece, um, quite a bit wetter than average there. Further north, it's drier than average around Scandinavia, drier than average through uh, Germany and Poland. Um, and around the UK, quite interesting, an island, so uh, close to average precipitation anomalies for the UK and for Ireland. But it does look a little bit wetter around the coast. And of course, this is, pro <coughs> excuse me, this is probably indicative of this cold air running over the sea and potentially, <coughs> excuse me, potentially producing some uh, heavy showers. And of course, with cold and average temperature anomalies, those showers could be wintry. So we could be lining up snow here, particularly for coastal areas as we're going from the 21st to the 27th of Janu January. You can see where the high pressure is sitting. You see that the high pressure is likely to be sitting up here. And that's putting down cold air from the northeast into many parts of uh, Europe during week two. And then we move over to week three, and we see that once again, the uh, temperature anomaly is forecast to be colder than average through many parts of central, northern, and western Europe. So again, it is in the north, west, and central, so it's colder than average. Scandinavia, colder than average. UK, Ireland, colder than average. This is a prolonged cold spell that the uh, ECMWF 30 day ensembles are going for today. Cold and average for UK and Ireland, cold and average for much of Germany, Belgium, Holland, France, all those areas forecast to be colder than average. The southeastern corner from Italy over the Adriatic into the Bal Balkans and then down towards the Black Sea and uh, further south of that in towards Greece and Turkey and all of the countries in between coming out milder than average. So the mild temperatures are in the southeast of Europe as the wind is being brought up out of North Africa. We've got mild southerly winds coming through there, but at the same time, cold northerly or easterly winds are affecting much of the north and the west of Europe. Precipitation-wise, again, it looks very dry. Uh, real strong signals of northern blocking across northern Europe. So, again, we've got Scandinavia here, particularly Norway, looking much drier than average. Obviously, we're going to have high pressure up there. Iceland is drier than average, so it's bound to be a blocking area of high pressure sitting to the north and extending back in towards the North Pole. That leaves much of southern Europe looking quite wet. Again, so uh, signs of a subtly tracking jet stream, I would have thought, coming through uh, the Atlantic and into the Mediterranean, rather like that. So uh, Spain, Portugal, many of the holiday islands of the central base of the Med, over to Italy, and even over towards the um, Adriatic and around the, Bal the um, coast of the Balkans. We see that it's rather wetter than average in those areas. So a southerly tracking jet stream taking low pressure into southern Europe, while northern Europe remains under that blocking area of high pressure. And is pretty dry too. But remember, any precipitation that does fall across northern Europe is going to be primarily snow through northern, central, western parts of Europe. Um, there won't be all that much precipitation because the air is too cold to hold all that much precipitation. But there will still be some precipitation around, as always, and uh, any precipitation that does fall is likely to be falling as snow. For example, we see it's a little bit wetter than average, or being forecast to be a little bit wetter than average, close to the east coast of England and Scotland. That would be primarily down to showers with the cold air overlaying the North Sea. Those showers will primarily be of snow because the air is going to be cold from this blocking area of high pressure so cold wintry and dry for central northern western europe a little bit milder but also much more unsettled with heavy rain across southern europe and then this goes on into week four as well another wintry week coming up the much of central northern europe the east is really going to town 
at the moment on a prolonged spell of cold weather late January and lasting into the early part of February. So again, we see that Scandinavia, the Scandinavia is around three to six degrees below average and more widely most other parts of central, northern, northwestern Europe, um, from France, the UK and Ireland, I mean, over uh, the North Sea into central parts of Europe, I mean, going up towards uh, the uh, European Russian border. All those areas are forecast to be around one to three degrees colder than average. The central and western part of the Mediterranean is close to average with temperature anomalies there. I mean, it's drier than average in that far south. It's warmer than average, I should say, in that far southeastern corner. Once again, precipitation anomalies. Finally, for week four, taking us from the 4th to the 10th of February. It is drier than average still uh, around Scandinavia, particularly again, Norway, and then we see those driving average conditions extending to the north of the UK up towards Iceland. So it's all very, very indicative of northern blocking within the northern latitudes to the north of the British Isles, extending back up to the Arctic, going further south into southern parts of Europe. It still looks rather wetter than average, southern parts of France, Spain, Portugal, into the central base of the Med, and then over towards Italy, down to Greece. All of those areas are looking a little bit wetter than average. So broadly, it looks like we are locked in to a prolonged blocking pattern here with high pressure blocking to the northern latitudes across the far north of the Atlantic, around Iceland, around Norway. Lots of high pressure up there. And we've got low pressure coming through, being pushed southwards with jet stream coming from the Atlantic through the Mediterranean in that direction. Winds are going to be from northern and central and western Europe. Winds will either be from the east or possibly even from the north. Prolonged blocking and cold weather on the way for many central, northern, western parts of Europe uh, from January and into February if the ECM 30-day ensembles are right. It's been a consistent signal from the ECM 30-day uh, ensembles for two or three weeks now. It is still going for this prolonged cold spell of weather. It begins in the coming week and it just gets colder from there through to late January and into the first half of February. There's undoubtedly going to be snow with this. The uh, In this kind of pattern, there's not going to be much precipitation around round because it's high pressure dominated and with cold air doesn't hold much moisture but any precipitation it does fall for much of northern Europe is going to be falling as snow here with heavy rain and thunderstorms likely to be moving from the Atlantic through the Med uh, on that southerly tracking jet stream. So we should wait and see. It could be that the e F is going over the top with this cold signal. Um, but it has been a consistent signal from the ECM uh, for a couple of weeks now. And uh, we'll just wait and see where where we go uh, from here. So um, that's it. We'll be doing it all over again uh, next week where there'll be signs of things turning milder across Northern Europe as we go further into February. You'll find out in next week's update. Come back later on this afternoon when we're going to have a look at weather for the next week, 10 days. The shorter range ECM will be included in that. I can tell you it was a very, very, very interesting run from the ECMWF um, short range model. Uh, overnight to, to the midnight run really interesting that will be featuring in today's second video update so come back for that later on that's all for now and thanks for watching